Hello, Creek family. It's Yvonne Lopez and Scott Lehman. We're here to once again speak to you about scams. Apparently, there's a lot of them going on, you know, not mm -hmm. only in the city, but throughout the country. Um, and the one we're going to talk about today is actually you're getting a call and someone is saying to advertise on your vehicle. How does that work? Yeah, this is one of those kind of job scams to where, you know, they, they might uh, see you on or you might see it on Craigslist something like that and in this particular one they were going to pay you a significant sum of money to just uh, have their advertising logo on your car so you is just it drive like a, around is it like a wrap or is it just a wrap a, okay mm -hmm. a wrap mm -hmm. so they were going to pay you know you know 1800 to two grand a month one of those too good to be true things you know is I, okay. I wish i could get paid 1800 <laughs> a month just to ride around you know with whatever logo you know right. on my car so what they'll do is they'll send you the usual check mm -hmm. the you uh, cash the check at your bank and they'll tell you to send not all of it back but just a little portion of it for whatever reason some kind of fee mm -hmm. or anything like that so when you send you know the 500 or the 1800 back mm -hmm. then they have that cash and then you've got your fraudulent mm -hmm. you know phony check mm -hmm. so most of the time the bank's going to pick it up but you know still it's, it's it's not good to fall for one of these things okay so basically once again if it sounds too good to be true mm -hmm. it's probably not true that's always the advice we give. And any time that they send you a check and they want you to cash it and then send them a portion of it back, that should be a red flag. Too. You should ask yeah. yourself, well, hey, why can't they just cash this check themselves correct, and correct. send me the money? Right, right. You know? So that's always uh, one of the red flags, too, to look out for. Okay. And let's say someone gets that call or gets a letter. What should they do? Well, what I would do is just go ahead and not call them back at all. Mm -hmm. uh, just go ahead and kind of end the relationship, so okay. to speak. And it's always good to let your l local police get, you know, know to okay. you know, a good file file report about it. Even if you don't get scammed, it's always good to let us know what's going on because mm -hmm. that way we can kind of keep up with it, see any changes in the scams that might be going on, see which ones are kind mm -hmm. of in the area. That's great. And how can they contact you? Well, the non-emergency line is 954-973-6700. Okay. And then if they just want to kind of contact us on Facebook to just give us a little note on Facebook next door, okay. the, the, that'll suffice too. Okay, because usually they do provide a phone number, correct? A callback phone number? Yes, okay. they do. And, you know, it's, it's a lot of times it's a, it's a phony number too. You know, that they could even be out of, out of the country for all we know. Okay. Very hard to track. But it's good to know, good to keep up with. So mm -hmm. we can warn people, you know, using... Right using uh, mediums like this. Awesome. Well, thank you so mm -hmm. much. We always look forward to uh, this valuable information. No problem. We'll see you next week. Thank you, Creek.